everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve d square plus 2 dy plus 1 into y equals to cos h x, which is a non-homogeneous equation. Solution. Given differential equation d square plus 2d plus 1 into y equals to cos hx, which is an operator form. f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square plus 2d plus 1. And Q equals to cos Hx. We know that cos Hx equals to e power x plus e power minus x by 2. Right? So, we need to find. Okay, let's find firstly order and degree of the given equation. So, we can write the given equation as d square into y plus 2dy. 2d into y, 2dy plus 1 into y. y equals to e power x plus e power minus x by 2. 2, right? Since cos hx equals to e power x plus e power minus x by 2. We know that differential operator d equals to d by dx. Then you can write d square y as d square y by dx square plus 2 into dy by dx plus y equals to e power x plus e power minus x by 2. Now identify the highest derivative here d square y by dx square is our highest derivative. So what will be the order of the equation? The order of the equation is 2. And degree, the degree of or highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. So here our degree is 1. Right? Now coming to the problem. We need to find the general solution or the solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. We will consider the homogeneous equation of this non-homogeneous equation f of d into y equals to 0 and we will use the auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0 of f of d into y equals to 0 to find yc. And we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q. Right? So, firstly, let's find auxiliary equation. Complementary function. To find complementary function. So, the auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to replace differential operator d by m then you'll get f of m equals to n square plus 2m plus 1 right then auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 2m plus 1 equals to 0 you can write 2m as 2 into m into 1 and what this 1 as 1 square which is in a square plus 2ab plus b square form right a plus b whole square that is m plus 1 whole square equals to 0 so from this we'll get m plus 1 into m plus 1 repeated factors repeated factors of this polynomial right then you'll get repeated roots Simply equate each factor to 0, then you will get minus 1, right? Minus 1, m equals to minus 1 and minus 1 because we are having two repeated factors, right? m equals to minus 1, minus 1. Therefore, m equals to minus 1 minus 1 are the roots of f of m equals to 0 are of the equation. 
which are equal roots. We know that if two roots are equal, then complementary function is given by c1 plus c2x into e power m1x or if you call this as some m, then you'll get e power mx, right? Complementary function yc equals to c1 plus c2x into e power repeated root into x. That is therefore yc equals to c1 plus c2x into e power minus x. Right? Now we can find particular integral. We know that particular integral is given by y t equals to 1 by f of d into q, which is equal to 1 by 4 f of d. You have d square plus 2d plus 1 into q cos 2, sorry, cos hx is equal to 1 by d square plus 2d plus 1. We know that cos hx is e power x plus e power minus x by 2, right, equals to we can or otherwise you can split this as we can write cos h is equals to 1 by 2 into e power x plus e power minus x then you get write 1 by 2 into 1 by d square plus 2d plus 1 into e power x plus e power minus x you'll get 1 by 2 into we can just write this as 1 by d square plus 2d plus 1 into first term plus 1 by d square plus 2d plus 1 into e power minus x See, 1 by f of d into e power ax form, 1 by f of d into e power ax form. We can find both the terms separately. Firstly, let's find the first one. 1 by d square plus 2d plus 1 into e power x, right? Which is in 1 by f of d into e power ax form, where a is a real number right now you're having f of d equals to d square plus 2d plus 1 right let's find f of a that is for a equals to 1 we'll get 1 square plus 2 into 1 plus 1 which is equals to 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals to 4 which is not equals to 0 since f of 1 is not equals to 0. So we can replace the denominator by f of 1. Equals to 1 by, write the value of, you can write the value of f of 1 directly in the place of denominator, okay. Or you can just write or replace d by 1. Then you'll get. One square plus two into one plus one, which is four. We already got from f of one, right? Is equals to e power x by four. Now we'll find the second one. Find f of minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 whole square plus 2 into minus 1 plus 1 which is equal to minus 1 whole square is 1 plus into minus minus 2 
plus 1 which is equals to minus 2 equals to 0. Since f of minus 1 equals to 0, so what we have to do? We have to write 1x into 1 by, find the derivative of this, that is, find f dash of d, which is equals to 2d. Derivative of d squared is 2d, plus derivative of 2d is 2, plus derivative of a constant is 0, right? Find derivative of f of d, 2d plus 2, into e power minus x. Now what we have to do? We have to find f dash of minus 1, which is equal to 2 into minus 1 plus 2, equals to minus 2 plus 2. Again, we got 0. Since f dash of minus 1 equals to 0, so what we have to do? You are having already 1x, write that x into, write 1 more x into 1 by, find the derivative of this, right? Which is f dash of d, right? So we will find f double dash of d. Which is equal to derivative of 2d is 2 plus derivative of 2 is constant, right? This is constant, so derivative of constant is 0. So, you get f double dash of d is 2. Since f double dash of d is not equals to 0, then you will get x into x, x square into e power minus x by 2. Now we can write the general solution. Sorry, firstly we need to write a particular integral, right? Let's write particular integral first. We get yp equals to 1 by 2 into result obtained from the first term e power x by 4 plus result obtained from the second term x square e power minus x by 4, right? Now what you can do is just multiply both the terms with 1 by x. Then you'll get e power x by 2 powers are 8 plus x squared into e power minus x by 2 powers are 8. Is this 4 or 2? We got 2 I think. This is 2 not 4. 2 twos are Therefore, yp equals to e power x by 8 plus x square into e power minus x by 4. Now, let's write the general solution. The general solution is, we know that it is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc for yc c1 plus c2x into e power minus x plus yp e power x by 8 plus x square into e power minus x by 4, right? See, we got real and equal roots or equal roots which are real. So from this we got c1 plus c2 into x into e power minus x. Therefore, y equals to c1 plus c2x into e power minus x plus e power x by 8 plus x squared into e power minus x by 4 is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.